Hello everyone. Today lecture about the component level design. This lecture prepared by me, Ammar Abdesalam, and the supervisor is Dr. Amr Salim. Let's take a look on the overview and what is the purpose of component level design. So the purpose is to define data structures, algorithm, interface, characteristics, and communication mechanisms for each software component identified in the architectural design. So when the component level design occurs, Actually, it occurs after the data and architectural design are established. The component level design represents the software in a way that allows the designer to review it for correctness and consistency before it build. Let's take a look on the component definitions. Component is modular and deployable replaceable part of the system that encapsulates implementation. There are three views of components. First one, object-oriented view, is that component contains a set of collaborating classes each operated class include all attributes and operations relevant to its implementation. All interfaces communication and collaboration with other design classes are also defined. Analysis classes and infrastructure classes serve as the basics for object-oriented operation. Second one is a traditional view. Traditional view is that a component or module resides in the software and serves one of three roles. First one, control components, coordinate invocation of all other problem domain components. Second one, problem domain components implement a function required by the customer. Third one, infrastructure components are responsible for functions needed to support the processing required in domain application. Third one is a process-related view. Process-related view emphasizes building system out of existing components chosen from catalog of reusable components as a means of populating the architecture. The class-based component design, it focuses on operating the domain specific analysis classes on the definition of infrastructure classes. Detailed description of the class attributes, operation, and interfaces is required a prior to beginning construction activities. Component level design guidelines. First, let's talk about the components. Establish naming conventions and during architectural modeling. Architectural components names should have meaning to, to stockholders. Infrastructure components names should reflect implementation specific meanings. Like it doesn't it mean we don't have to use like random names. Each name we have to choose, it has to make some meaning. It will be useful to understand just by reading the name. Last one, use of stereotypes may help identify the nature of the component. 
about the interfaces. Use Lollipop representation rather than formal UML box and row notation. For consistency, interfaces should follow from the left-hand side of the component box. And this kind of, like, uh, just if we want to take care about the consistency about the interface. So other one is show only the interfaces relevant to the component under construction. Uh, let's talk about the dependencies and inheritance. For improved re readability model dependencies from left to right and inheritance from bound derived classes, this one is just derived from another classes, to top, top is based classes. The component inter interdependencies should be represented by interfaces rather than component to component dependencies. If you have any question, please you can leave it in the comment. And thanks for listening. I hope this lecture was useful for you. Thank you so much.